Hello, and welcome to the Central Land. This is your host, ECL Tour Guide, here for the Decentraland Land Report. Coming live at you at the Metaverse. Let me turn around for you, get my backside hit. Yeah. We're here in Genesis Plaza. Um, just taking a look at this trippy water fountain coming in. If you didn't already know, you can jump right in there. It'll take you to the full Genesis Plaza. So if you're new and starting out, that's a good place to go, meet other people, a lot of people around here. This is a pretty nice HQ going on. Um, I remember we did a tour around here on uh, the beginning when I first started streaming. <clears throat> We're going to check out to see if there's any, any events today going on. Hmm. I believe there is, so... Be a good time. Mm -hmm. okay. It's loading up right here, so I'll just give it a minute. So we're doing an event in the Wonder Zone. I just want some info on that. Heidi sale for Ukraine. Oh, so they're actually selling them in the Wonder Mine. So it's like pretty cool because it's like they have their own dispensary instead of looking in the marketplace trying to guess which one belongs to Wonder Zone or I don't know if they, they I think there's a way to search it also in the marketplace, but Go to Wonder Zone, check it out, check out the wearables, and they have one supporting um, cream. So that is, that's pretty cool. I'm um, trying to figure out what these are trending now, but these starts in just a couple days. Um, this started seven years ago. These are the upcoming events. Um, I believe, okay, let me go to highlights. Yeah, this is a pretty cool feature. It, goes to, it has the live events here. A little bit disorganized. Um, let's do this. Say hey, this happened a day ago, but um, it's a grand opening, so it's pretty cool building art, and that's really good. Rose Law Group. Let's see about legal services, but still, it's about metaverse legal, legal services, so. That's actually really interesting that there's a, a law group specializing. So basically, if you have any kind of skill or interested in different paths, you're gonna eventually they're gonna start leading to the metaverse. So if you like law and you like metaverse, um, there's different professions you could take and different things you could take to like align with what you like and your interest. So even coding would be similar to that. So if you like programming, you can start programming for the metaverse or web apps for the um, people in the metaverse. And this is pretty cool that they're infusing um, law, like a law group. Let's go check it out, actually. Connected, but it seems like my Wi Fi is doing pretty well today. Alright. So, this is like the first law group in the metaverse. Rose Law Group PC is the largest law firm in Arizona history founded by women. Rose Law Group is a full service business law firm that has always been on cutting edge of legal services. 
So if you come to this spot, you can check out their Facebook and their Instagram. Now with the physical presence of Central Land, Rose Love Group enters the metaverse as a pioneer, believing that life or oh, reading that. Keeping that life in the metaverse is a large part of our reality, future reality. So here you could have, there was a first wedding in the metaverse, so this is history right here. So this is pretty cool that it's like um, historical museum. I don't know if, if they were, I guess they were involved. So let's let's check out this, I like this, I'm glad we came here. A uh, Phoenix couple, oops. We need to to try to tie them out with their digital certificates in the first marriage in the metaverse. Bride and groom Ryan and Candace hired Rose Law Group to legally formalize their wedding, their marriage. Their met, uh, their wedding took place in the Central Land on February 5th and was attended by business, uh, by witnesses. I'm sorry, because I don't know why it keeps moving because of the little staircase thing, so it's, it's throwing me off. I mean, the, I mean, I'm in the elevator. The wedding took place in the Central on February 5th and was attended by witnesses, Supreme Court Justice, I'm not sure how to say the name, uh, and a virtual audience of 2,000. The NFTs of the couple's dog pepper were given as party favorites to those who attended the event. Oh, is this a little family right here? In real life? That's so cute. I wish they would have had like a, uh, also a wedding photo to like, they did, I don't know if they did their own ceremony, but um, outside, I mean outside of the metaverse, but that, aww, it's really nice and sweet, um, let's go check out the venues on the other side. Oops. Gotta be careful. Don't want to walk off the plank into the world. Let's organize your event in the metaverse. You could go and book your event here. Let's see. Web design architecture in the metaverse hire us. So they also are doing um, web design and architecture and apparently weddings. Welcome to Candice and Ryan's Meta Manor. So this is the most of look like the venue that they did. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go upstairs. How do you guys feel? Would you guys get married in the metaverse? Um, put your thoughts in the comments below. Oops. Well, apparently it's it's empty on the third floor, but. It, it says rent rent the gallery, so they're renting out galleries. They're renting out conference room here. So if you're interested, and and um the Lowe's, Rose Law Group, what they have to offer. Uh, this is a pretty cool spot. I really like like what they're doing here. Let's see the email with the phone once the event is over. So this must have, this is probably for the the event. I don't believe you could get a, a pope anymore i mean i'm gonna go buy it if you guys end up getting a pope you get a pope if you don't you don't know because the uh, um event was over but you could try that qr code if you're watching and and uh, see and try it so all right so we're gonna check out another spot that was pretty cool I like that went to that one what's this pocket rocket this happened four days ago rabbits from the parallel universe that resonate with orbits i do like that and that's interesting okay mm -hmm. i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it mm -hmm. visual artist by young iranians women artists in the metaverse Oh, that's okay. I haven't been there. It's 
Oh, people, it's really women inspired. I know it's International Women's Day, but um, just to point out that the law firm was uh, founded by women as well. So this is pretty cool. Like, uh, seems like a lot of women power going on in the metaverse right now. I know that there was an announcement recently. I'd like to talk about news as well. The world of women. Um, I'm going to maybe start getting into Sandbox too, you never know, we'll, we could be like the Sandbox report as well, <laughs> you know, like, um, we'll keep expanding, we're like Metaverse News, well, Decentraland is really a key player moment at the at, at right now, but um, I believe I've seen Kevin on Earth uh, doing some streams on Sandbox as well, uh, um, they just allowed uh, me to download Sandbox on my Mac computer, so uh, now I can actually take advantage of Sandbox. So I'm gonna, I haven't actually checked it out yet. Uh, I I've seen like lots of images. From what I was, what I wanted to say is, World of Women is actually creating uh, avatars. Uh, their collection is creating avatars for the Sandbox metaverse. So I'd like to see more projects like that going on here in DCL. Uh, we have some NFT collections going on as as actual wearables. Uh, I'm gonna I don't have a clever girl NFT, but I managed to to win a wearable. With that. Um, also let's let's just mention Snarky Sharks. Snarky Sharks. Uh, these were created by Clue. I'm sure, but um, yeah, these are a NFT collection as part of the the metaverse here. Um, these baby pangs might be from inspired from Penguin Fight Club. Uh, there's there's a few things going on. I know these Apes 3D backpacks are also. Uh, Oh my god, it's so cool. I don't know where that. But my Apes 3D backpack, it also gives you VIP to, you know, certain. Uh, in the Apes 3D HQ, you can get in play, uh, VIP access. I'm sorry, that, that was a lot of blah, 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 just to get that out. So, yeah, VIP access. I'm pressing done, it's just taking an extra second. Not exactly sure the land in which we were going to visit because it just kind of put me on an empty spot or near it, but I'm not sure which one we wanted to, to visit. It was the Iranian. Which which parcel is that? Is it? Yeah, yeah, this is it. Young Iranian women. Artist in the metaverse with guest artist Mr. Peter Drift from the Netherlands. Okay. Let's go check it out. I don't know what these level things are. Oh, okay. Wow. It's just kind of like skyrocketed me into like my own globe of private artworks here. That was really, that was unexpected and pretty cool. Uh, let's take a deeper look at their work from what I can see so far. They're really talented women right here. Let's see what it looks like in open sea. Sometimes you'd be surprised it could be um, a gif and it won't, the whole thing won't show. So, sometimes you just want to. It's actually also much clearer in open sea. I don't know what it is about the central end, but you do lose a form of clarity by just visiting it in world. Yeah, like that was not as crystal as crystal, right? Mm, ooh, look at this. It's like a, a spider with a, either eating a head or a, a, a head attached to it. Oh, that's another thing. I, I should have looked at the other one. Hold on. Let's go back to the other one. A lot of times these artworks have symbolism, meaning, and there's a much deeper connection to it. And um 
that would that's what makes them really powerful and actually really valuable and having a story uh having a, a sense of peace to talk about having um it doesn't always add value but i i do believe in the long term if you're if you build up a community and you're worth sometimes viewing it it has its own story and then a lot of times you know you also could in the details people will um in the description sometimes people go into more detail it doesn't always have to but i i enjoy that sometimes i try to think about what they're trying to say there sometimes i just think of it as like it's just visually stunning you know I like the way the rocks formed or just the different color pieces and stuff like that. Let's see. Peter drips by me, so let's see what that is. Sometimes the title is a story. I don't know what Pierre. Maybe that's maybe this. That was the artist. So So there's something here, right? Two thousand and sixteen. Sometimes it helps even getting to know who the artist is because then you find a deeper connection to their work. So the the more people who um, expose themselves as far as like, who they are and building an audience and getting to know their audience, um, I'm not the artist that I could search at, but I would be interested as to know their thoughts behind this, like, um, Ramsey says something down there, so... So, it, I love the mystery of it too, though. Okay, I want to know what went on inside the artist's head when they created that. That makes if that's might be too. I get too pry, pry. I I pry too deep, but I mean it's just very intriguing to me. Side, so it could mean that she's one person on the outside and there's like a hidden a person that no one knows on the inside see that that's the whole thing about like symbolism and you know, works you can make your own own decipher for uh, what you feel like it means and sometimes actually let's look at another collection at the part of the whole collection because I was looking at the whole collection kind of gets a whole picture of, of their, where their minds are at. It could just have been something interesting. It could have been just like a dream. Hmm. Uh, when you go to museums, the curators that really know the artist about their life, like about, let's say, Picasso about his life, when you when it comes to hearing about their work and 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 everything, they put together like a full picture, you know. And that's what I love. Like they have, I went, I took a class in art and 
really art is is much deeper than just the imagery. So really resonates if it really resonates with you uh it, it, you form a deep, deeper lasting connection it's, it's that's work that'll that can be transcend into future into the future because it's just like it's a voice I, I, it's hard to explain So interesting, I right? just like what wonder what what goes with the commands when you create things. I don't know if this is the first photo here in this collection. I mean not this collection, this gallery. Let's see. I seem to be opening all of them because it seems like the distant on the central when you view them. What's the definition of a Nigma? What's the definition of Enigma? Here's the definition of Enigma. A person or thing that is mysterious, puzzling, or difficult to understand. Yeah. It's always great. The, the, the work, the name that they found for their work, that they chose. That was a person, a thing that's mysterious, puzzling, or difficult to understand. Okay, let's see that. See what I mean? I like that. Dig, 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 dig. Always dig in life. Find what you're passionate about. Find your interest and in why you're passionate about it. What makes, what makes you feel alive? What makes them feel alive when they made it? I mean, we're, the world is so interesting and so complex. It's so deep. What are you guys doing? Anybody there with me? Don't be shy. Please say hi. Might give something away if you do. But you never know. <laughs> if, um. You know what? Because I want to encourage viewers on also on the Twitch. I mean, on. Kevin on Earth 999 channel. We're gonna do this. First person who comments 
do this post. Leave your Twitter. I mean, leave your eat daddy. I'm gonna send you something. gallery I know I am I really like art and I like to make different works some people are very talented but it's like something to make this I think we almost read all the works here we still have about another half hour or so. yourself up, upright and um, you'll get through it. I like to know where the symbolism comes from. Sometimes when you visit these galleries, especially in openings, which I wasn't here for the opening, sometimes the artists are avatars and you can write in the chat and possibly talk to them so that's a great added benefit of being in a gallery in the central land as well as being there on the opening as well as like you know if someone owns that gallery they're gonna constantly be you know there and uh it's a great opportunity to like get and talk to know get to know people um I'm just gonna give an example of, I think it's Rustan. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. I apologize if that's not the correct way in which you pronounce it. Rustan, uh, I think it's Rustan. But he is an artist in the metaverse, has his own gallery. And in his own gallery, there's many a parties here uh, basically every week. A lot of his artwork is actually up in, inside of the gallery. I'm not sure if he actually visited Rustan's gallery. Um, we can actually check that out after this. Uh, I believe they're doing an event later on today at 6 o'clock. So that'd be if you guys are watching this now or later, go check out Rustan's gallery. Um, I came onto the Twitter right now because I saw a post. Uh, I own one of the wearables, one of his wearables, in which his a uh, uh, image of, of, of his artwork um, of a woman that was body painted. She, to me, looks like. Walking Dead type, um, kind of like um, zombie-ish, but I'm not sure if that's where he was going with that. But it was just like earthy colors. I, I would, I'm not exactly sure. It just seems pretty cool. So I really like it. Um, a lot of people, when Rustan first opened up uh, his gallery, that opening gave like 
Um, Tell me there's a way to the supporters. Everybody came to a lot of people that came out. Well, that's cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's actually peeling back. So, so this woman right here, believe it or not, was fully naked. And she uh, was painted. And she looks like he's clothed. I mean, that's. That's uh, part of his technique, his art, you know, that, like, um, they might be naked, but when you cover them in paint, they're not uh, naked anymore. Not necessarily, like, naked anymore. Uh, I mean, technically they still are, but uh, their bodies become just like a work of art, maybe even similar to this camouflage. Like, uh, these are beautiful mushrooms here. Um, this is one of the secondary sale. I'm trying to look. Okay, so this is an example too, which I really love. I need. I want to get this jacket. But this is a wearable uh, Rustan created. Uh, this was a woman that was again um, in body art painted, and then he took that image and he put it inside the jacket. And um, recently he created. I don't know if it's going to select few people who have it or you'd have to contact one to custom make. But this is Rustan and he's wearing the exact like jacket that is on the wearable with behind it with the, the woman that was body painted or I don't know if it's just a drawing of a woman that was body painted. I think I I don't know, it's very beautiful, very talented artist right here. Um, I'm sure. I love I love to see the progression of people too as they expand, like if as they create um more work, they generate more attention. I just feel like there's like I'm, I wonder the people that saw people like 10 years ago, you know what I mean? Like, everybody started out from zero followers. Everybody started out from. So it's cool to see where people start from zero and have worked themselves up. I mean, you're, the speed at which you do or how many is like, is your own journey and you shouldn't compare yourself to others. And it's not always about likes and followers or anything like that. But, I'm just saying it's just you need to see some um their com I should just say to see their community expand. I I'm not talking about like exact numbers but um yeah I'd really love to see like an artist, really talented artist take um really join and be a part of the community and get to know Everybody and be a part of it. Rustan is always constantly partying, always has the dopest wearables. Um, cool guy, like honestly, um, I really hope more and more people start following in the footsteps. Like, also, see, uh, Serena has her own gallery, um, Serena Ellis, and beautiful works of art that she does computer generated around um, graphics you know art and this is a photograph Encourage all, all, all artists if you feeling something in your, in your heart that'll bring a better picture to um, your artwork. Please, please put a description because I'm just like I'm just like me. I'm I'm sure I'm not the only person that really loves to dig deeper into like meaning and symbolism. I don't think we saw these two works on the bottom. I believe after I can see the view. Uh, let's 
person can do something, they're going to turn around too quickly. Uh, we're going to probably see an exit here, and we're going to exit. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I'm just outside. I'm not sure if there's more parts of this gallery. Uh, let's continue scoping. So, we gotta be moving to a different one. Or. To this one, if this is the maybe this is the only gallery so I don't know if I Those two go to the same gallery, I believe they all go to this globe here, all four circles. It seems like we have visited the parcel. Okay. So Let's see if we can look at something around, and if there's nothing interesting around, we'll go and check out maybe like another event or. Maybe we start to just. First, the, the turn button, too many times. It's uh, just a turn and turn. I feel like I'm going in circles. It's like, it's like, that's the gallery I want to look at. Let's see. There's a lot of little galleries around here. This is pretty cool for club with the music on. But if you could see it, it doesn't keep loading. So. Yeah. Oh, 
I don't like works that are too similar. Like those had different patterns, really pretty much like similar colors. And just, just, hmm. sometimes I don't like the first person though, I think. Now we're still because I'm trying to walk up a bit. Walk up it. Uh walk. Special NFT. Yeah, this stairs are terrible. Cause I can't really walk up it clean. Mm -hmm. It's on a wall here. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna leave. I'm not really interested in clicking those. No offense. I don't like the person's gallery. They need to like work on it. They could just have an elevator lifting up. That would be very, very much more simple. Simple. I don't like these galleries to have too many elevators, too many. It's like clean it up, it's too, uh, too. Okay. 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 So you guys know Skechers is actually creating sneakers in the central land in the metaverse. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um Uh, I need to refresh in this event that I have to refresh. Okay, I think we we'll have another spot. I'm not finding too much nearby. I'm, I'm sorry if you guys are a little bored. I'm a tiny bit myself, so let's just go to another spot. Better be patient. Um, everything. I have to the supercomputer, and I think it's not just me. I think a lot of they're working on. I mean, we're we're only two years in. I believe we're still. still in beta. A lot of things are still in beta. So. Maybe to respond. Mm. Okay, we're gonna okay. Let's see, is there a day? I don't know if there's a day. Let's just see if we can look at them.
to the explorer. So the iron, the meta gallery, we saw the makers of nature, but that's the law firm group. Just trying to scroll down, I'm just having a bit of an issues right now. Girls Law Group Tower. Let's see, who all the events. I really, really am looking forward towards uh, the beta of the browser, not browser, really, but OS. They, they have it for Microsoft now. They have it for Windows. You could download the Sunshine Man instead of a browser. I'm not sure if, if that helps with the letter for the bag issues and. Uh, Please make that. female DJs. I'm not sure to show Nice. I wish that was going on now for you guys. I don't know if I've ever been there, so let's, let's go, let's go check it out, even though they, they're not having a play yet. I'm trying to decide where I want to go next. Alright, let's go to the Wonder Mart, let's check out the different, um, Charity sale. Let's, let's go where since we're we're categorizing with video recording history at the moment. Then you know, let's let's see what wearables that they that they're offering to support. Because I believe this is a great way for for people to help a cause and do what, what do what they like to do at the same time and, you know like if you could find your passion in life and also like help someone at the same time like your goal just, just keep doing it keep going is the Ukrainian flag the colors here it's like a heart um, I believe this is the machine that they're talking about. 100% of the proceeds from the sales of wearables go from the shop directly towards humanitarian aid um, to the war in Ukraine too. Okay, let's go check it out. See this one? Mm. Another form of jacket, got a heart on the back. Let me back up a little bit. Um, it's annoying with the select kind of gets in the way for you guys to see it. Um, it seems to be that there's these two. I'm sure you could contact Wonder Mom. 
would like to help the cause inside of the jacket, maybe. Because they, they're doing, to, they want to help the efforts too, so. It seems to be that there's only those three in the collection here. Um, I'm trying to get the third one sold. But Wonder Mine is also a great place to if you want to meet people. A lot of people hang out here because when you collect the, the when you go to the meteors. enough time but if you really want to you could come here and start promoting your uh, Twitch channel if you're live and a lot of people that are on mine at the moment will join your Twitch stream and come hang out with you. But a lot of times a lot of people just looking to get something for free so they could take it and sell it for money which is cool but at the same time we like want to have a community members of, that are like more involved in the process like if you, if you you really want a wearable and you're trying to win it like, hopefully it's that you really want one and you can afford one and you like it and you you want to keep it. I mean, it's supposed to make a profit on it, but all, all you see is like, I'm going to come on here, collect all of those, and sell it, and not even come to the parties, not even like, care about any of us. Like, that's sad. I don't like that. I just feel like you're using someone who created that artwork, and they want to promote it, that you're just like, using them for their free stuff, and then who cares about that. So a lot of times, you know, when anybody donates for my stream, I definitely want to give them a good shout out and, like, you know, anytime I, I really like win stuff, I like to keep it, I like to give it away. Um, the only time I will sell something I haven't done is if it was sold out in the store. You know, that's your call, like, but if you if you start selling it, even though there's ones for sale, and you start selling it less than the creator, that's kind of foul. Like, they gave you something so you could have, and then you're taking sales away from them because you're putting it out there for cheaper than what they're putting it out there. They was hooking you up by giving it to you for free, and then you're going to go in, around and sell it to sell it, um, to someone else for cheaper and then what they're selling it for, like, yeah, I know people got mouths to feed, but that's just kind of grimy because the same person that created the wearable got mouths to feed too. They created the wearable and giving it out in hopes that other people know about it so more people could buy it, but then how are they going to make sales on it? that got it for free decides to start selling it for cheaper than what they got it like you understand like always do unto others what you would want to be done unto you you wouldn't want to like give out stuff for promotions just for everybody to turn around and then you see them all on the market for less than what you're selling them for and then you know therefore you like you know stop to have as, as many sales or whatever so, I don't know. Everybody to do which is own, but just contemplate on um, what you do to what you're doing to others too. It's not just about you can't just be like about all about yourself. You know what I mean? Like, that's sexy. So I mean, you're looking sexy. Hey, hey baby. 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> We're just here at the Wonder Mine, just talking, uh, looking at different wearables and stuff that people are wearing. Hey, 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 two K Zims, you're new to my channel, or are you are you also new to the Central Land? So if you haven't already, come check out Wonder Mine. When you break these pieces open, you get uh, these little these components uh materials digital and you go and go to their crafting machine and then you could you're able to unlock wearables so the more you keep collecting and leveling up um, the more wearables you will be able to start creating it um you're only able to mine a certain amount in a day but as you keep leveling up, you'll be able to uh, mine more materials. And uh, mine, use a better, have a better axe. to level up my axe because then I can get more work done, you know. And sometimes you have to take some components to, to trade it in for another one because that... Oh, there's the wearables. That's where I want to get to. Oops. There's one t-shirt. See, and those t-shirts even give you a mining bonus. It's a token. So, I have a bonus to get the token. So, it's just like building blocks. And once you collect those. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I really do like that sweater. I want to I wanna try to get that by next winter. I think that's one of my goals. I, if you've seen that sweater and you like get close on it, it's like so detailed the hat and the sweater. It's oh, that's just, those are great wearables. I could see those being worth money in the future because um, they're you know wonder mine. Um, you know, and also they're uh, they're very detailed. Cool, cool, cool. Well, Decentraland is a great place to meet people, um, make friends, le learn skills, and network, and just have fun. Like, if you ever been to the, the parties, the, it's great, great DJs, and like, everybody's dancing, and it's just like a fun time. There's a lot of big companies coming to the metaverse too. Like, see this one right here? This whole this person standing there looks like a tree. That this wearable was created by Samsung. So they have a they had a opening um, event and you had to complete certain tasks and that was the wearable that they gave out for the event. It was it's like uh, it looks like a little tree, it looks like a little birdie on his shoulder. I think it's pretty interesting, it's pretty cute. Um, that Metafest hat they gave out New Year's. Um, I just like noticing some wearables that I've seen. Faces. I think that's a Meta Party. Meta Party uh, octopus mask. Here's another way to support Ukraine. There's a stop war shirt in the store. Look at this avatar. It's like a complete skin. It's the, uh, I think. Oh, it's like a snowman. He's booking it though. It's like hard for me to catch him. I love looking at people because then I look at see all the different wearables they have. 
some stone here, so that, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, it's gonna get me what it says on the shirt. But yeah, we're gonna actually go today. It was fun hanging out with you, checking out a couple galleries, checking out um, the Wonder Mine events here, looking at different skins. Look at this whole gorilla here. Look at this gorilla. Oh, nice. I love the details are getting better and better and better. Look at it. Look at fur. <laughs> Wait. It's a bit of interesting. Wallis. You're gonna come here forever. I suggest you pick a cool Twitter name and you have it at the same as your actual name. And that will legit give you so much cred because like anytime you go to a party and you put and you, people will tag you on Twitter, and you're just gonna become part of the life of the central and part of, like definitely part of the community. So, one thing I do recommend I did buy my name DCL Tour Guide. It was one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, I had created the DCL Tour Guide twi uh, Twitter a, a long time before that. Uh, just you know. I just it, it took me a long time to realize the importance of uh, keeping a name especially as time goes you like somebody might have that idea for that name and nothing stopping them from taking it because they'll just change the last numbers of the hashtag like this is mid guard right he's mid guard but he's hashtag a nine F D so another Midgard wants to be made, he might be hashtag A7, um, you know what I mean, whatever, whatever, but because this guy doesn't own his name, or girl, I don't know, whatever they are, uh, you know, in real life, because you don't always have to wear the same, um, gender as, uh, characters as you are, whatever you want to do, but, oh, that's pretty cool. Bro, this dude is pimping right now. Love those glasses with the hat and the. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a cigar, even though we know. <laughs> that chain is dope too. Oh, who is this kid? Is my did my phone just die? Oh my goodness, cause I was uh so weird. What's going on? I had the Twitch chat there. So I can read you guys. I really thought I had more power on my phone. I think because I had my phone the whole time on while I was reading the chat, probably just died. So anyway, um, thanks for joining me here at the Decentral Land Report. Make sure you come check out uh, NFT Tuesday. I don't believe. We have one this week, I'm not entirely sure. Kevin on Earth, congratulations like to your brother on um, getting married. I really hope you had a great time at the wedding. Uh, the pictures looked really cool and like so happy for you guys um, having fun there. It looked like a destination wedding. If, I'm not sure, maybe you guys are from, from uh, if, he's, if your brother's still living in Brazil, but I know uh, that, that must have been amazing, uh, really amazing and fun time. So everyone enjoy the rest of your week, uh, make sure you check out the rest of us, uh, go to the decentralandreport.com and check out the schedule, we're a whole group of reporters. Uh, we each have our own Twitch channel, but we come together under a unified, uh, decentralized report. Uh, uh, and let's get my breaks. So just check out the schedule. I'm on Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, NFT 
Tuesday, scavenger hunt in the metaverse. It's like a pretty cool game. Um, Kevin on Earth is gonna host. You can win some NFT wearables. Uh, Wednesday we got Fractalians at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Kevin comes back on Thursday at 6:30 Eastern Standard. We got Raven on Friday at 8 p.m. We got Big Ben at 12 on Friday as well. So come check all that out. Saturday we got Perseus, and there's gonna be more opportunities for you to come and be a part of the report. Uh, it's if you didn't know, it's like a play to earn game. Uh, we get, well, it's more than a game. A play to earn uh, report, I should say that, in which you would agree to take a, a weekly time slot for a period of time, and you get um, tokens, and these tokens are going to be used for different things. And we also uh, are on expand where. We must uh, scavenger hunt. Also, um, we collectively ask if you want to donate to the channel, come do it through the expand, through the expand, and so all the all all, all of the reporters are gonna share the donations. And this is where we post the clues for, for NFT Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna drop the expand link in the Discord. Is it for me, Tex? Oh, have you been? Have you, you come to mine before? I'm sorry, I'm trying to respond to the chat. I had it going on my phone, but my phone died. Uh, I'm so sorry that I have not been responding to your messages here. But uh, we were we were just about to close out. But go check out my. Meat uh, Sinful Meat Sticks. Uh, he also has a channel. It's really cool. He hangs out, parties around the Central Land. Funny dude. I, I enjoy hanging out in the stream. So go check, go check him out. And thank you guys for joining. Um, we're gonna have we post this on Kevin on Earth 999 YouTube. You can check out uh, other bunch of my videos there and part of the team, all the teams and everything there too. So have a great week and peace.